other YouTubers. Does your dryer sound like this? Sorry about that. Today we have a video, a how-to video full of tips and tricks. A life hack, if you will, on how to fix your squeaky dryer. First things first, you'll need safety gloves. I have my name written on mine, mischievous unicorn. Things you'll need to get this job done successfully are a vacuum cleaner with an extension hose. You'll need a socket screwdriver for about $15.99 and a double-sided screwdriver with plus and minus. This one costed $12.99. This is the only thing that you're not going to be having lying around your house. If you have it, you're weird. You can only find this at O'Reilly's or Pet Boys for $1.69. So let's, so let's get, get started. This is the first and most important step of doing a dryer unplugging it so you don't get electrocuted. Second step you'll need to do is turn off the gas. You'll see a red valve at the back near the bottom. Now that you have the dryer disconnected and the gas turned off, you're going to want to pull the vacuum away from the wall to give yourself some space to work. Take your vacuum and vacuum out any lint that's in the lint trap. Now that you've vacuumed out all the extra lint, remove your lint trap and unscrew the first two Phillips head screws. Life hack, put them in a sandwich bag, even label your project on it. Once the screws are out, push forward. It takes a bit of time. Then open up the lid a little bit, and you can see that it's secured with pressure pins. But before you do that, put a towel over it so you don't scratch the washer and dryer, and your mom doesn't want to whoop your butt. Now you're going to want to unscrew the two screws at the top of the door using a socket screwdriver and then you're going to very carefully detach the door sensor very carefully do not destroy this or mess it up because it's going to cost you a lot you can either use your fingernail or the double-sided screwdriver on the flap edge have some assistance holding the drum so you lift up, then pull the door back. Life hack, find something five inches tall and wedge it under the drum so you don't have to hold it all day. Now is a good time to clean out all the excess lint in the dryer. If you're ever having problems with your dryer not making enough heat, this might be a problem. This is your igniter. This is what you'll have to change out if you, if you have that problem with your dryer not producing enough heat. This is what we'll be changing out today. This is the mount for the belt that makes the drum rotate. You're going to need to pull the belt past the nut. take a lot of muscle so you should get some help. This part is going to take up and out. Once you pulled your barrel out and you took the belt out, you should inspect your belt to see if there's to see if it's not broken or has any cuts on it.
And now is a really good time to inspect the lint to see if there's no excess in there. Once you've got all the lint out of there, make sure to check behind the wheels. Make sure it's properly balanced. So there won't be any gunk, hair, and all that kind of stuff. I think we may have found the problem. My job was to take the idle pulley and clean out the wheel. I grabbed a wire brush and scrubbed off any of the all the gunk and then I took a towel and then wiped off all the remaining gunk. So now I have the flathead screwdriver and I'm going to pry open the pulley so that you can grease it. What I did for this wheel was took a wire brush and a rag and wiped down and cleaned off all the gunk that was on this wheel. And just from spinning it, you can see that it's not perfectly balanced when it spins. So what I'm going to do is take a needle nose plier and tighten the clips so that it'll it'll spin balanced. So the pliers didn't actually work. Instead, we had to put it on something sturdy and then tap down the clips. And then it got perfectly balanced. We also ordered two wheels on eBay for $8. They should be here in about 10 days. Now it comes to the greasing part. Be, caref be very careful not to get any of the grease on this part or else the belt won't catch so what you want to do is put the grease around the peg guess what we're weird our dad had one of these in his toolbox now you gotta grease the inside of the wheel lightly then grease the peg lightly both of the wheels are greased and they're spinning perfect, just like they should be. So you have to put this bar and clips in. The next thing you want to do is install the heat plate and tighten the screws. It's the same thing from taking off the drum. Get a little help and reattach the drum along with the belt. You're going to want to pull the belt behind the idle pulley and onto the nut. Support the drum, then rotate, and then that's how you know it's working properly. Support the drum, then you're going to want to line up the door with those two pins. Once the panels are in, reverse the process, then time your nuts. Before you put the lid down, make sure that the belt is all lined up around the drum. Then connect the sensors. All you just gotta do is drop the lid and tighten the screws. So now all that's left is to replace your lint trap. But guys, Check your lint trap daily so you don't have to do all the stuff we did. Trust me. We know. I know it. Now what do you say we take this baby for a test run? Yep. I think that's a job well done. Well done, brother.